Hi, my name is David Benjamin, and I'm a grad student in the lab of Professor Richard Hines here at the Koch Institute. So our lab studies metastasis. Uh, so metastasis is the process by which tumor cells leave a primary tumor and form secondary tumors in other organs of the body. And this is the main problem with cancer. If cancers just stayed where they were, it'd be a surgical problem, and really it would not be as scary a disease as, as it is. This image is of green tumor cells trapped in red blood vessels, and this is actually in the tail of a transparent zebrafish. And so these tumor cells over the course of time will actually leave the blood vessels and begin to form metastases. So um, in this experiment, I have tumor cells growing in culture in a dish. And so what we do is we take them out of the dish, we put them in solution, and then we inject them directly um, intravenously into circulation in, in this fish. And they travel throughout circulation until they reach blood vessels that are just too small for them to go through, right? Because tumor cells aren't designed to be in circulation. So eventually, the blood vessels narrow to a point where the tumor cell is just too big to get through, and they get trapped. I took this image because I thought the project was just very interesting, because I'm trying to image metastasis in real time, which has been hard to do in mice um, and other organisms. And so this was a very new approach that nobody had really done before, and so I like the fact that I'd be just doing something completely new. I guess my favorite part of this image is just the fact that the tumor cells are really clearly taking the shape of the vessel, that you can see there's all of those torturous narrow blood vessels, and the tumor cells are really lodged in there, and you can see that they're twisting around as well with the blood vessels. Yeah, um, I'm really proud of this image just because it was very hard to figure out how, how to make it, because there were a lot of just technical things that I didn't think about when I was going into the project, and then I had to figure out how many cells to inject in, into the fish, where to inject the cells, all kinds of just variables that you don't even think about until you try to actually uh, do the experiment and you get a fish that doesn't have any tumor cells or has far too many tumor cells. And so it took about a year and a half to get to the point when I can even do the experiments that I wanted to do. Science is, is hard. Like a lot of times you're doing the same thing over and over again and it's not working and you have to try to figure out why it's not working and, and it can get very discouraging, actually. So I think you just have to push through and eventually you get results. I was so excited the first time I managed to do the first injection and I saw tumor cells and I could image the tumor cells in the vessels and I said, okay, I finally have it.